Advertisers are sneaky. We all know this. But just how sneaky are they? Well, the answer might be sneakier than you think. So here are seven advertising tricks that you have probably fallen for yourself or have at least seen. Number one, decoy pricing. Decoy pricing is the tactic of adding a middle option and pricing it closer to the more expensive option to encourage people to buy the more expensive option. If a company has a small drink for $1 and a large drink for 4 they can simply add a medium option for $3 and people will generally choose the medium option. Then notice for a dollar extra they can have a large. You will know when you see this tactic if you ever hear a cashier ask you if you would like to upsize for an extra few cents or whatever. Number 2. On Sale The on sale tactic can vary depending on where you live and is borderline illegal in some areas. In the US, however, companies can legally advertise a product as on sale if they increase the price of the item to the correct amount after the sale ends. For example, if they have a $100 pair of shoes, they can advertise that $100 pair of shoes for 50% off for $100. Then after they run out of stock or sell slow, they can increase the price to $200 even though they were originally priced at $100 before the sale. Then after a short amount of time, they can simply drop the price back down to the original $100. In the UK, however, this tactic is illegal as the on-sell price must be based off the price the item was sold to prior to the sale beginning, and they must have sold the product at that price for at least two weeks. However, the loophole for this is that large retailers will pick one store and mark up the item to a percentage they wanted to sell it for, let's say 25%. Then after two weeks, they simply mark the item down by that percentage in every store. Other countries have different laws and consequently different loopholes, but wherever you are, you might want to think twice before jumping on an item simply because it's on sale. Number three, May shopping. This tactic is exactly what it sounds like. Some retailers will make their stores like a giant maze in the hopes that while you're hunting down the one item that you came in for, you might just stumble across something else that interests you. IKEA is so well known for this, it's even turned into a meme. Seriously, Google it. Number four, odd even pricing. This strategy is so overused, it almost turns into an advertising cliche. Buy this amazing product now for just $19.99 or $29.99 or $59.99. Like seriously, why the hell not just round up and stop introducing a mental breakdown to every poor bastard who has OCD? Well, there actually is a strategy to the madness. Humans have a tendency to round down, so when we see $29.99, we're not thinking we're spending $30 on a super absorbent towel that doesn't actually work. We're rounding down to $29, and start to think of it as $20 instead of $30. In fact, if someone buys an object for $29.99, in the future, if you ask them how much they spent on it, they're much more likely to say they spent 20 something dollars versus 30 which is closer to the amount they actually paid. Number 5. Scarcity. This tactic is also synonymous with TV commercials, however, its use is not limited to TV, as it can also be used in store. It can either be presented as a limited stock or a limited time offer. For example, be one of the next 50 callers and receive this extra gift, or Buy now, supplies are limited. In truth, these companies have a very vague idea of when their ads are playing. They know whether they're paying for a prime time slot or a slot at 3 a.m. when you're watching your commercials because Adult Swim went off an hour ago. But they certainly don't have anyone monitoring when their ad plays so they can figure out if you called within the last 30 minutes. Number six, using attractive people in advertising. This tactic is very self-explanatory. Companies will use attractive people in their commercials because Megan Fox sells more Pepsi than Marilyn Manson. And let's be honest with ourselves here. How many hot, in-shape people do you see eating at McDonald's on a daily basis? Number 7. Glossing over cost. This tactic is also fairly common. You will see it a lot on TV when they say a product is $19.99 plus shipping and handling. However, they fail to mention how much shipping and handling is. The thought process is that once you have your credit card out and you're all set and ready to pay for that sweet new body of OxyClean, you are much less likely to be deterred by a $10 shipping fee than you otherwise would be had you saw the $10 fee mentioned in the ad. You will see this in other places too, like when a lawyer says he's willing to represent you and he will give you your money back if you lose. However, they fail to mention how much they will take if you win. The point is, they are trying to get you to think about the cost as little as possible so that you will jump in foolheartedly ready with your credit card in hand. Well, that's it for our list of advertising techniques that you may or may not have fallen for in the past. This is the first video on this channel, and I would really appreciate any feedback, rather positive or negative, letting me know if you liked it or what I could change. Thank you very much for watching, and please enjoy the rest of your internet going experience.